Alright guys, I'm here with David and uh, look, what are we gonna film today bro? I don't know, I'm just gonna sweep until something pops in my head. We had right. a few ideas, but we just... and it's just kind of become way more difficult for the time frame that we already have. Yep. So we just, well, I don't know, I was thinking of flipping something in the full lift. Oh, no, that could be, that could be, that could be an idea. It's under yeah. Cam's car. <laughs> <laughs> Cam, uh, if your car no longer exists, I apologise. I don't know what to do, yeah. Right. Anyway, we're going to cut to the intro and we'll see um, what we come up with. Let's go! First off, praise to the most high. Glory is you and you are the ruler, it's in you to my whole life. Oh God, no lie, no buy, I don't play both sides. Been so down with the windows down, truth music blowing at the whip, so loud you repent when I roll by. Morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are. Welcome. We found something to do. We brought Archer in and we're going to essentially pimp it out, but I don't know if we're allowed to use that word anymore. That's what we're gonna do. So hold on tight, because I mean the boot doesn't even shut. I think we might get some bonnet to, or bonnet pins for the boot, but he's gonna become a race car. Luke's Luke Fink put a double spoiler on his car and I feel like he's outdoing us, so we're gonna do something as well. Brace yourself. Go! Right, so we've got some very good engine enamel. It's a bonnet, it's covering the engine. As you can see, we've prepped nothing except... Sam, Sam was actually using this bonnet for his uh, daily car. So he started bogging it and then he's like, nah, I'll use a different bonnet, so we did. So he already pre-cut the hole for me. So what we're gonna do is fully clean it down, sand it right down. No, we're, not. we're just hitting the Yeah, boy. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Oh, guys. We're not waiting, this is going black. The Archer's gonna have that JDM feel. You know, it's the Gator 86, you know? Actual 86. From initial D, so we're going black bonnet. It's a silver car, so I mean, you get me. I think the work he's done here is actually quite all right. I can see myself. This engine enamel's great. <laughs> so we, we can't, obviously, we're going a bonnet vent because Luke put a bonnet vent on before I did. It's a bit of whoopsies. But he didn't paint the bonnet. So we've got a bigger budget of about $40. So we've spent, <laughs> we've spent our $40 budget. On paint. On the paint. So this should be interesting. It looks already so good. Bad. Good. You gotta give it the thickness. That way you don't need to do a clear coat. You know how they've got those videos where you just watch things and they're really like mesmerizing? We're gonna do one for you. I present to you, ladies and gentlemen. You bring me bonnet, 50 bucks, you supply paint, I paint it mint. Oof. They're, they're not streaks that you're seeing, that is talent. Mmm, baby. Capital T, but talent. I won't do that. <laughs> oh, that's the bonnet done. We'll, uh, wherever I put the lip, we're just gonna fix that up and hit it with the quality Jupiter color enamel. Might just put this bonnet over there so we can dry in the sand. Ooh. I don't even know if we have this type here, but we'll, uh, these are quality. I'm like this drill bit. <laughs> it's getting cold. There we 
Yeah. So I'm going to do your solid. I'm going to leave the camera. You talk to it. I'll go get you some zippies. Get me some zippies. This might be a bit more worn than I thought. As you can see here, we're not going to repair any of this thing properly. We just need... Uh, two zip ties will do me. Oh yeah, that is some quality stuff. I think my drill bit's too small too. Oops, sorry guys. Yeah, whoopsies. Actually might be alright. What do you know? Funny enough, they don't teach you zip ties at TAFE. It's a drifting skill that's acquired on demand. I'm not going to lie, David, I do like the buck hat, mate. I like it. Thanks, my wife actually hates this hat so much, so that's why I thought we'll wear it. Why don't you leave us a comment below if uh, you love or hate this bucket hat. If we want the bucket hat back, who knows? Can we call it the Buck Wild Hat? The Buck Wild Hat. Oh, imagine that. You heard it here first, everyone. A bucket hat with every Buck Wild kit you purchase. We might go under, but <laughs> sounds exciting. Maybe, maybe one day. We get the support we need, guys, and we can, uh, you know, throw in a hat. I'll do it. You Sign don't have to tell me twice. I'll Signed with some uh, black enamel by yours truly. Black. You get the stink of the black enamel. Okay. Look at that. Like, it doesn't probably look great from that angle. It looks like an FD car flip. Just me. This is pretty much... Yeah, this condition of this, I reckon, hopefully next year we'll have the, the AU for Drift Challenge, well not Drift Challenge Australia, it's Luke's thing, World Time Attack Challenge, the drifting thing, hopefully we can get the AU there, not with this, Luke. that's just a, no, no point, but I just thought I'd say it, I'm going to get some quality paint, maybe we'll cut the zip ties, Grab you want to cut the zip ties? Well, at least to mount it. Yeah, fair enough. So I've got a bit of uh, OCD when it comes to uh, like the underneath the bumpers. I have to paint them. Like, even though we're painting this with... Oh, there's a spider there. He's, he's painted now. So, I, don't know, I just personally, I just need this to be all painted. It just bothers me if it's not. And because we we're very patient in the time that we're doing this, we'll wait for the paint to dry underneath it while put it over. And then start on top. Start on the other side. It's good. I um I didn't have to pay anything for this, so we're not collecting here on our front lip. We we acquired this from a friend. So we bought a few of them and it was, it was broken, as you've seen, so. Perfect donor for Archer. I'm personally very excited about this. I just want to look... I'm, I'm really keen. This is going to be good. I might actually like it too much. Well, I might like this too much and not want to damage him. It's okay, I'll, I'll send it this into a wall. This always happens. I do this... I always do this. Thing is, you won't damage it, David. I will. That's true. So, I guess no matter how attached you get, it's gonna it's on crash. I it. just um, yeah. I don't like wrecking things, which is you're probably asking yourself. He doesn't like wrecking things, but I do. So, I have wrecked a lot of things. I don't want that. We'll, we'll pull the boot off and then we'll paint the boot black as well because it's a different car, so it's kind of been bothering me. 
I don't actually know how I'm drinking this because about seven years ago, I overdosed on B-cans on a trip down to Wakefield. And from where we are, that's a 12 hour drive one way. And I didn't sleep because the car had problems towing it there. And I got so sick from these. And even when I smelt this, I'll throw up. So it's taken about seven years to get over that. So this is kind of the second time I've had one since. The memories aren't flooding back in, so I'm not throwing up. Hopefully it gives us the power to get this done. On to removing the boot, throw a time lapse in. We have to wash me pull the boot off for half now. On the workbench. I wonder if I should take the weight off. And then I have an idea, David, but I'm going to stop recording so they don't know, and then we'll just come up with the idea. So upon our uh, private discussion, David, that we just had while we paused the camera, what are we going to do? We're going to paint the wing a separate colour for performance. Performance that lasts. You'll find out when we paint it. Have you seen it? Alrighty, uh, everything's painted, or almost painted, so we're gonna let the majority of it dry. While we're doing that, we're gonna start fitting some parts onto it. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna fit first, so we're just gonna start whacking stuff on and put the coil overs in and all that stuff. So, hang on. Oh, where are we? We're gonna pull the stock struts and springs out of the back, and we've got some R33 front coil overs to go in the back. They've leaked out fluid, but they're still better than choppies. They'll better to be lowered, so that's what we're doing. So up we go. Right, so we're putting the R33 front coilovers in the back of the AU. Just do like this second hand option. But Dale from 252 Motorsport, good friend of ours has made these which you can buy. So they just slip into here to compensate for the uh, the clearance in both the coilover and the diff. So these are a little bit damaged because they already been in a car without these. So, um, oh, yeah, they even fit better than oh, kill. So, yeah. So then we'll basically put them on, and normally what you do when you fit these in, you reuse the factory rubber from your original shocks. However, some of them, you just gotta choose what's applicable. Some of them have different sized here, depending on the brand of coilover that you, you, know, you find. Being different Chinese brands, all types of things happen. So, in this case, we get to use what we have. So we'll use that. And we'll throw that in. They're already set because we already had them in a car, so they're gonna be fine with they where I put them in. So there, that's it. Beautiful. Alright guys, that's it for this week. Unfortunately, just just a time. We have to make this two-part video. Uh, we've got the coilovers in. We're about to put on the ground, so we'll at least get a photo of it rolling, but the front's still fairly high. So basically. Bit annoyed time wise but that's how it is so hope you enjoyed it a two-part video so the rest of it will be all done and looking all hopefully good enough you know be parked next to luke's car so catch you on that cheers <laughs>